Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in. Alessandro the Crypto here and welcome to another video. Today we are going to analyze not only Bitcoin and Ethereum, but today we're also going to have a look into XRP and Solana because currently there we are getting some very bullish price action and uh, after many weeks and months that we didn't cover those coins, we are going to do that in this episode. So make sure to watch this until the end. I am currently extremely bullish also because of what is going on with the traditional markets. We're also going to have a look into that. And of course, make sure to sign up to gate.io and to any exchanges that you find here in the video description, because here in the video description, you find the best exchanges that I'm currently using, especially gate.io currently is giving the best uh, trading um, opportunities because here we have very high liquidity, very low fees. So if you want to start trading, gate.io is the best gate way here also you have the best access to the newest pre-sales if you want to know the ones that I also invested you find them here in the video description especially the new Bitcoin ETF pre-sale because this one is completely new and since we have currently a Bitcoin ETF hype I think that just because of the name this one of course could explode I did a tutorial about this uh, token uh, it's uh, linked here somewhere in the um, in my uh, channel or here in the video description somewhere but otherwise just go into my channel and check it out and also make sure to play this uh, crypto game with me every six hours I'm sharing with you the forecast for the next numbers so you always win uh, check out the telegram group in the video description and uh, a big um, uh, warning guys because it came out that one of the exchanges that currently or at least uh, so far I was using uh, this one called Fairdesk is a scam exchange so leave this exchange if you're using it and now guys let's dive here straight into the daily chart for Bitcoin because we are looking extremely good here even though we are seeing a little uh, retracement today but as you can see we still have daily closes above the top side of the Keltner channels as long as we don't have daily closes below $36,750 we should in theory gear up here for the next move towards the $40,000 area that's why I'm still in all my long positions I still expect this year that Bitcoin will reach 40 to 50k and um, uh, uh, just a little uh, notice here the CME chart closed at $37,500 so I just noticed that that here we closed higher than we are trading right now over the weekend so that is usually a good setup because the lower we go from the CME chart uh, from the CME close on Friday uh, the better in theory we will get uh, an entry point here a better entry point if you're looking for a new long position or if you are increasing your long positions because um, normally on Friday we are retracing back where the CME chart closed uh, so we close we are trading now $400 less than where we closed the CME chart so in my opinion this pullback that we are seeing is actually a good uh, buy and long opportunity and uh, yeah all, all the money flow is still stable everything is looking great I think that here the support that we're getting also in the four hour at $36,700 is perfectly holding and from here on we should bounce and continue to push higher the other reason why I think that we will um, probably see in the next coming weeks here continuation towards 40k and probably higher is also because of the stock market. Nasdaq had a massive uh, bullish close here on Friday. We broke above the resistance trend line. So for the first time, you can see that here in the lines chart, we have now this breakout to the upside. Of course, in the past, we have seen here a fake out to the downside, but that in theory is a bullish uh, event because uh, whenever we see a fake out to the downside that means that we will retrace back into the pattern and if this is going to break out on the other side in this case bullish then of course we should expect continuation to the upside at least to retest the high here at, at 16,000 and if Nasdaq continues to rally here then of course this will be in favor for the crypto market as well and check out in, uh, the US or index because here it looks like that we are getting resistance right here where previously we had a lot of uh, support so now this can act again as a new resistance we have also the top side uh, no the media median line of the Keltner channels and the 20 daily moving average lining up here so if we're getting somewhere here a lower high we will continue the downtrend here and that of course will be also bullish for the crypto market uh, Ethereum also is just coming down to retest the top side of the Keltner channels we have some bearish divergences in the RSI or, or at least we had it before but as you can see with this pump that we have seen we have now uh, this uh, basically denied because the, the RSI is now creating higher highs uh, same like the price action also here we have higher highs so this bearish divergence didn't play out this is basically denied for now 
That's why I still expect that although here Ethereum will continue to push higher, we broke this Fib line here. So in theory, the next target is the resistance up here at around $2,300. And of course, if we break that, then I think that Ethereum will go straight away towards $3,000 to $4,000. And that's why I think that many altcoins will also explode, especially if Ethereum here, which in my opinion is a leading indicator, will break, break out here to the upside and continue the run up. And we have many altcoins that are currently exploding. We have Ordi that did like a 500% gain in the last couple of weeks. We have uh, Crow uh, token. This is the token from this exchange that I'm using. Uh, where is it? Uh, it is crypto.com. Uh, this one, yeah. Here you can get a free uh, crypto debit card with this link and the $25 bonus. So uh, on this exchange, we have a crow token and that one also is exploding. And the funny thing about this token is that you will get every time you're spending your uh, stable coins, your USDTs or cryptos in general, because you can convert it here into British pounds or euro, then you will get a cash back in this token. So that means that if you collected so far all the cash back with this token, uh, now, of course, you're sitting in huge gains because uh, this coin is also exploding. By far not at all time highs, but at least uh, in the last couple of weeks, also that token exploded. And um, we can have a look now uh, also into XRP and Solana in specific because currently there is a lot of attention on those uh, coins. So I know that many weeks we didn't cover those coins, but we are going to have a look here into the bigger time frames because uh, XRP, as you can see, had a massive run up, but we are still by far not at, uh, at, um, at the main resistance up here because as you can see, uh, the, the XRP chart here is in theory looking bullish. As you can see, we have here, I think that those lines are from the daily time frame, more or less. I think I have to adjust that because we, we had here the peak and here this resistance. The same is here with the support. I don't know why they're a bit offset, but you can see that the XRP is forming a huge symmetrical triangle here on the weekly time frame. And if we would break out here to the upside at some point, this would be the breakout target. You see the size of the symmetrical triangle. If we break out somewhere here, you can see where this could take us somewhere at around $10 more or less. If XRP would break out here to the upside from the resistance that is here at around one dollar. So in theory, I'm also bullish here for uh, XRP. I think that at some point we could see here a bullish resolution to the upside. But um, since uh, the, this high that we had here in 2021, this is when Bitcoin topped out. You can see that XRP didn't create a new all time high. We were below the previous all time high at um, three dollars and twenty six cents. So that means that we don't have necessarily also here to reach new all time highs to have a rally. We can even just come up towards the 0.618 here at almost $1 um, or towards the 0.786. But if we break out here from the structure, then of course it's very likely that we will with the next big bull cycle of Bitcoin also here for XRP create new all time highs. And it is possible that here we could rally up towards $10. That is in my opinion possible based on the charts. But uh, until we don't see here a breakout to the upside, of course, this is still too far fetched. And um, I think that at the next uh, Fibonacci extension level here at around $6.50, we already will get some resistance here, I guess, uh, because normally also Bitcoin between the 1.618 and the 2.618 is finding each, uh, uh, each uh, cycle top. So for XRP, I'm also bullish, but of course we need to break above this $1. Uh, if we break that resistance here, then I'm starting to be extremely bullish. And right now we are running into this resistance, the 0.5 Fibonacci retracement level. But I think that here we have very good chances to retest this resistance up here and maybe even break out to the upside. It depends when we will test it and also what is going on with the Bitcoin price. So XRP is, in my opinion, also looking bullish. I'm not owning too much XRP, but of course, also here, we could make some significant gains in the future. And as I told you guys, all the gains that I'm doing with pre-sales like this one here, or Bitcoin Mine Tricks, BTC20, Wall Street Memes Token, and so on, I'm always converting my gains into Bitcoin. Those are great opportunities to make some gains to multiply our Bitcoin portfolio, of course, because the goal should be always to accumulate more Bitcoin, that's our safe haven. But uh, to reach that, of course, we can also trade altcoins. And the other one 
uh, is uh, Solana. I'm wondering where I put this chart. You see Crow, this is Crow. We are by far not at all time highs, but you can see that we are just at the beginning here at uh, 12 cents and we came from um, uh, for almost 5 cents. So also here a huge increase and here it's enough that we are reaching the 0.618 or 0.786 uh, Fib line from this level would be another 200% or 400% almost. And for Solana, you can see that here, we already reached almost the 0.618 Fibonacci extension level. So that's why here we are very similar to the Bitcoin chart. You can see that also here we are very close to the 0.618 and a lot of other altcoins are lagging behind. And uh, currently Solana is having the best uh, correlation to Bitcoin as well. But of course here we have much more gains because here we crashed much, much more. And um, you can see that since September, since this rally started, we, ha we have here 200% of, uh, of uh, gains. So it's uh, incredible here, uh, the gains that we are seeing on Solana, of course. And also here in the past, remember, we have signaled this area here, the 0.618 um, at $70 and the 0.786 at $130 to be a potential uh, top here for, the for this next upcoming uh, rally. And uh, the same for Bitcoin, Ethereum and so on. That's why if we're going to enter into this area, it is possible that also Ethereum, XRP, Bitcoin, all of them will also enter into this area. And here I think that this could be a potential local top before, if it's happening during this month or next month, before eventually another massive correction and then gear up for that bull run towards new all-time highs. This is what I'm expecting. That's why I think that, that, um, that 40 to 50K are still perfectly uh in the in the cards for uh bitcoin and uh, here i also did this nice curve here connecting like all the cycle bottoms for bitcoin as you can see this green one is touching all the bear market bottoms of bitcoin also this one over here and you can see that currently it is at around twenty three thousand dollars if we would see afterwards a corrective phase in the next coming weeks. So it's still at the low 20s. So I think that maybe this curve here in the future also will be quite useful. Same like this one on the top here, which is connecting, this curve is connecting all um, Bitcoin cycle tops. Because also here you can see the 1.618 Fibonacci extension level for Bitcoin is at $180,000. And if we would see a cycle top, for example, the, at the end of 2025 so more or less one and a half year after the next bitcoin halving this would also perfectly match with this curve here the next fib extension level and this is in my opinion a potential realistic uh, cycle top for the next bull run but for now for this run i think we most likely are just going to top up some uh, top out somewhere here and then have another corrective phase before we gear up for that bull run towards new all-time highs but that's it already with this video, guys. So thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to be subscribed on this uh, video and also let me know what do you think about uh, Solana, XRP, Ethereum. Um, and if you have some other altcoins that you want me to cover, you can put it in the video description. But that's it already for now. I think that we are looking um, into some very exciting uh, weeks. Very exciting weeks and days are ahead, guys. That's why be prepared. This is the time to trade. This is the time to be um here on the charts, glued on the charts and trade, of course, because here we can make significant gains and accumulate more and more Bitcoin, not only with fresh fiat, but also with some uh, trading, of course. All right, guys. So thank you for watching. Have a great Saturday evening and we're going to see us all in the next one. Bye for now.